Kelly, a packaging engineer, is designing a container to hold 12 drinking glasses shaped as regular octagonal prisms. And her initial sketch of the top view of the base of the container is shown above. So this is the sketch that Kerry has developed, which is 12 inches in length and 9 inches in width, and it can accommodate 12 glasses. So these are the places where it can accommodate glasses. So we can easily number them and see that she can accommodate 12 glasses here. Now, Kerry has redesigned the container because the initial sketch did not account for cushioning material between the glasses, and the area of the base of the newly designed container is 25% greater than the area of the base in the initial sketch. And we have to find out what is the area of the newly designed container. So as we look closely at this picture, we see this as a rectangle and we can easily find the area over for this picture here. So let's find the area of the old container which should be length into width, which should be 12 into 9 equal to 108 inch square. Now, as we know, the area of the new container is 25% greater than the area of the old container. So let's go back to the formula that we studied in one of the percentage questions. Since we have an increase here, so what we will do is we will do 100 plus 25 upon 100 into 108. So this will be the area of the new container because the area is increasing by 25%. So let's calculate it over here. This should be 125 upon 100 into 108. So this goes to 4, this goes to 5 and dividing and multiplying by 25 and this will go to 2. 27, 27 into 5 should be equal to 135 square inches. So 135 should be the area of the newly designed container.